Okay, so and get home safe. <laughs> Tell me what you've seen and what you have planned for yourself outside of just that brand of get home safe. Because there's uh, a lot of things you've done before we create. This. Right, right. Um, me as a psych psychotherapist, to be honest, I just wanna. You can explain to them what that is also. Okay, so a psychotherapist. Um, psychotherapist is someone who was trained from the DSM who uses more of a clinical approach to mental health. Um, the diagnos Diagnostic Statistical Manual, which has all the di uh, disorders in there for mental health. Um, and so, yeah, so since I was trained, uh, I got my master's in clinical mental health counseling, so that's why I call myself a psychotherapist. I love working with those who have like bipolar disorder or schizophrenia or just adjustment disorder or whatever issues that they're dealing with. I love it. I, I am really, really crave trying to heal those in, with tra traumatic experiences. And so that is like my thing. And I think trauma is in all of us. It's all about our resiliency and our tolerance and things like that. So trauma touches everyone. Um, and so with that, I just wanna break the stigma, change some federal laws, make it to where healthcare is actually covering everything from all gamuts like, um, so private practice, yes, you can probably write in adjustment disorder and things like that and insurance companies will pay for it and cover it. But when you work with like those with Medicaid and like Medicare, only certain disorders are, um, are you're able to book for it through Medicaid. And so a lot of these like core service agencies, you'll see that they only use certain disorders and sometimes those disorders are not really for you, yeah. right? Um, you're misdiagnosed, and then also like learning and studying, and I always was pointing this to uh, my professor, Georgian Thomas. Um, she was like our historian professor, and she was really big on like reading where the the information is coming from. So read, understand the, the author, the author, right, of the of this narrative, and. Um, I really feel like, I mean, statistically, it is show that there's not a lot of black uh, therapists, psychologists, psychiatrists who are doing the research, sci you know, um, even PsyDs who are doing the research on black individuals, brown individuals, about these mental health topics. So a lot of the research we see are primarily done on um, our European counterparts, or our white counterparts. And we all kind of know that, like, we don't all you know study the same we don't all present the same you know we have some intergenerational issues that are going on that they may not have experienced um, and so my goal is honestly to do research on that um, I'm getting my PhD in international psychology with a concentration of organization and systems and um, that allows me to hold I mean to be more culturally competent when doing this work and not really doing it from a Western um, westernized standard um, and so I'm really open to that because like it really take in like you know I went to South Africa last year and it really took in like what um, I was in ooh, ooh, I feel so bad right now I'm trying take to think time, about take it take your time you've like given us a lot of quotables so like yeah. not Cape Town but um, Johannesburg okay. yes and um, you really learn a lot of what they do, like what they believe in and what others believe in. So like, I'm a Christian, but do I believe in like the Bible like that? No, I'm more spiritual. So like, I want a therapist to come in and say, this is your belief, I'm gonna take that and I'm gonna use my tools to help you get through it from your perspective. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So yeah. That's uh, ironic that you said that research-wise because Get Home Safe on my side, I don't know if Ryan ever told you guys the story as to like why I started Get Home Safe. Mm -mm. All right, so why? unfortunately I lost the love of my life a year and a half ago some change. I feel like I kind of <laughs> saw that because Around certain times, you post a little bit more about this person? Mm -hmm. Okay, got it. Yeah, so, and as much as she educated me on her dealing with depression and how hard that was for her, I learned from her who was in her struggle. Mm -hmm. So it was like five years building this person up, watching them become amazing, um, graduating from Bowie State. Kumlade, is that like the house mm -hmm. name? Yeah, Summa Kumlade. Kumlade. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she graduated like... Mm -hmm. Okay. Like which one? Which I think, one I think Magnum is the yeah, highest. Yeah, she was there. She okay. was at the top, like okay. you know, all day. So okay. you know, she was really rocking on every block. But oh. um, yeah, <laughs> um, yeah. 
yeah, it's just it was unfortunate because there was a point in time where I was like, who who do I reach out to to help this person help themselves? Because mm. it was like watching the episodes happen, watching them overwork themselves, watching corporate America for the jobs that she was working not pay attention to the people who worked underneath them when it comes mm. to like the corporate space. And then, as a black person, I don't remember there being someone who was black who's a psychologist or in my community who I could reach out to to be like, hey, help me. Like, really help me. Don't just pay attention or feel sorry that that happened to you. Help me. Because, right. like, they don't have any bo- anyone because everyone is getting tired. There's, mm-hmm. like, a tired point that you hit. And I saw the system do the... Just give them that medication, they'll be fine. And it's like, no. Yeah. And that's that's kind of why I didn't want to become a psychiatrist and no shade to my psychiatrist because I feel like you, there are some great ones out there and they do great work. It's more so like I just didn't believe in just giving medication. Like I truly believe we can talk this out and yeah. real plasticity takes place and um and we can figure out some things. And I really do believe that in all honesty, like. Even with depression, because I've, I've dated someone with depression too, so I truly understand what you're saying. And um, it's, it's challenging, and people do burn out. I know I burned out a lot, and I was telling my ex, like, listen, I'm a therapist, and I do therapy every day. I can't home, come home and do therapy yeah. with you too. Like, that's draining. This can't be work. Right. But relationships are work, and we are a work in progress as people. Um, so I, I do, I agree that you want somebody to give you, like to reach out and help you, or somebody you can reach out to that looks like you, that yeah. understands you, um, and that you feel, com- you feel comfortable going to. Like a lot of people ask, how do you pick your therapist? And I'm like, it's just like dating. You pick somebody that you feel comfortable with. Like I know my weakness and my strengths. And so I pick my therapist on that. Like what do I want to work on? And yeah. how do, are they going to hold me accountable? So you have a therapist yourself? I do. Okay. I do. And yeah. I, I was, I started seeing him when I got my divorce. Um, we were going weekly and then now we go monthly or as needed. So. Oh yeah, I love a therapist. Um, I think everybody should have a therapist. I even think that you should probably talk to a therapist when you are a child. Mm-hmm. And that should just be a part of kind of the the healthcare, like we go to, we do a, a annual physical, right? Mm-hmm. So let's do an annual physical. At one point you could get a pap smear like every month, I mean every year and things like that. Now it's every like two years or maybe every three to five if you had an abnormal one. Um, and then you go to the dentist twice a week, twice a year, every six months to get a cleaning. And so I really think that you should be able to see a do a mental health checkup every quarter. So four times a year. And I think that should be in the healthcare plan that this is not mandatory, but this is like you get we this is what you this get for free. Be right. This should be a part of what you need. It's a part of what you need, yes. and and um, like literally, you can just go get a mental health well- wellness check. Mm-hmm. That's it. And It'll be simple. Very simple. Well, and for very. Them, it's like who's gonna pay for it? And it's like guys, we already see you uh, alternating all these funds to war. You can take care of the country if you like. You can. You yeah. can definitely. And not if you can take care of it globally, because I think that we're not even on like just America. I think we have to figure out how do we compete globally. Because right now we're on a, glo- it's a global structure. Yeah. Um, we like we operate that way. And we're currently on the slope also. We are. Yeah. Oh, I, I can see it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure everybody can see it, you know. So yeah, like, yeah. Yeah. Okay. 